Today, I have my boy Doze in the back because he has a little lump on him. Um, and boxers are prone to getting cancer. And so when a boxer gets a lump, it is a concern. And so we are gonna take him to the clinic this morning and we're gonna take that lump off and send it to a lab and keep our fingers crossed that Dozer does not have cancer um, because it is, it is a definite possibility. So, not fun, but it could be nothing. It could just be a little cyst or something. There's only one way to find out. So we're gonna take him to surgery, and I also have another boxer, actually, um, a vet ranch dog that also has a lump, and this one, hers, I'm pretty sure is cancer. Um, Dozers, hopefully it's not, but anyway, two boxers, two lumps, two surgeries. Let's do it. <music> after anesthesia and still a little out of it as you can tell. Hey buddy boy. Dozer has had a tranquilizer. Have you been drinking? Have you been drinking? So here's his lump. You can kind of see it right there. It's a little bitty. It's smaller than a marble. Probably a little bit bigger than a pea. In between a pea and a marble. Right there. We're gonna go ahead and just take it off because I don't like lumps on boxers. So we're gonna take him to surgery right now. This is Allison. She is interviewing for a job today and I have her on the most important job, putting a catheter in my dog. So if you mess this up, <laughs> don't mess this up. So we're putting a little IV catheter in him. Just make sure that we, if we need to get drugs in him, we can and we'll keep fluids running to him during surgery but my dog has the best veins ever. Okay, now that you said that. Yeah, I know, now I jinxed it, but <laughs> he's skinny, he's athletic, he has short hair, so he's usually pretty easy to learn on. I mean, you're not learning, but <laughs> I told you. Don't say it until it's all the way in. It's in, you got it, <laughs> you got it. Okay, I think you passed the test. Yay. Done with surgery since this is the off the ranch channel, I didn't want to show you too much gory stuff, but got it out. Turn the light off, make it a little easier. Got it out, little incision right there, and we have it. Show that cup over here. We have it in this little cup so we can send it off to the lab and they can tell us exactly what it is. Hopefully, it's nothing, but uh, we'll see. We're gonna wake old those up now. Hey boy, are you feeling better? You feeling good? Come here, let me see it. Let me see it. Good boy, looking good. You still look a little drunk though in the eyes. Yes, you do. Good boy. Y'all get ready for an epic unboxing video. No one on YouTube has ever unboxed one of these. It's a stainless steel exam table. Really excited about. Oh, it's way heavier than I thought it would be. But it looks like it's all put together. All I need to do is screw it into the wall. Easy as that. That will be another day because I don't have 
any tools to put these big lag bolts in the wall. But but this can be a pretty cool table. See, it's stainless steel. Look really nice. So this is our extra exam room we just made. That used to be a walk-through door there. Now it's just a wall. And we got a sink put in. We've been working to make this place better, to fix it up, slowly but surely. Did a bunch of other stuff at the clinic that was not so exciting. It is time to go home. Doze, how you doing there, buddy? Look at this little nub. This is what he does. He just, just kind of wiggles his little nub, but he's so sleepy. Look how red his eyes are. Dozer, you've been doing drugs today. I know it. I know it. I'm on to you, son. All right, let's go. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh, good boy. Right here, buddy. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Good boy. Good boy. Careful there. Careful there, buddy. Come on. That was graceful. Good boy. I know exactly where Dozer's going to go. He's gonna go to his bed in the living room and sleep for hours. Good boy. I think my dog might be stoned. Just changed clothes because I need to go finish the Dimless Ranch video that I started last night. Um, so you guys won't see that because I'm going to save the Dimless Ranch, but I want to show you Dozer. I bet he's still in the exact same spot. Hi, bud. Good boy. I sure hope that boy doesn't have cancer. Because that would be sad. I love my Doze. Um, if you uh, want to know what we're doing on Demolition Ranch? It involves this. And it's going to be so lit, let me tell you. Um, let me show you one thing before I cut you off and go do demo stuff. I need to get you on a tripod first, though. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. This shirt. I'm really excited about it. We, uh, we, we made a little video on Demolition Ranch. I'm just going to show you a real quick clip. Yeah, the most American thing I can think of would be me, but I am a bald eagle. And my wings are made out of AR-15s. <laughs> and everyone loved it and said I should make a shirt out of it. So we made a shirt out of it. it looks good, right? It's an eagle, a bald eagle, with AR-15s as wings. It's, it's the best shirt I've ever seen. And I wanted to have a shirt I'm really proud of, so we got really nice quality. High quality shirt, super soft. The graphics are legit, and it's a good gift for like a boyfriend or like Father's Day in a couple months. Anyway, I'll leave that there. I'm gonna put a link in the description. It's limited edition only, so we only have like a week or less. A week or no, it's like a week or two. I don't know. It's coming up quick, so if you want one, get it now. Thank you for your support. I'll uh, I'll be back with you after I'm finished um, burning some things. That was cool today, girls. Lincoln had a rough day. Yeah. <laughs> he, we were going home and then, and then he's fast asleep. Classic Lincoln. Classic Lincoln. Hey, y'all, look at Dozy. He got surgery today. Oh, oh no wonder if he's so, like, bleh. Right here. Right there. Yep. I Where took, did I, he get it? I took him to the clinic and took a little bump off of him. He's doing good, though. He's just sleepy. Yeah, he needs to go lay down a little more. I didn't feed him this morning because he had surgery and he still has no interest in his food at all. We have some friends coming over and we're making dinner. All we're making is bacon. Just kidding, but seriously. So I had to get cleaned up. Mare, looking super fly as well. Yeah, right? We'll see you after dinner, unless something crazy happens. I wasn't planning on showing this to you guys on the Off The Ranch channel, but my friend Jake, who you've met before, wanted to try out the flamethrower. It's super windy out here, so I'm sorry for the audio. Have you ever discharged a flamethrower before? Uh, no. Okay. Here you go. So you hold it like so. I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up for you. Let's see, I'll do this first. So you light it. And I point it towards you, right? Yeah, I point it towards a person. Oh, my bad. All right, you pull, you push that thumb button. Oh, 
<laughs> Go ahead and empty it. Just keep going until it's out. Dude, that is so cool. It's cool, right? That's not scary at all. Are you being sarcastic? No, I really, I thought it was going to be a little more intense than that. It's, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's the flamethrower for the everyday man, you know? Exactly. Like, it's not one of those, I was telling Jake, I've done a real flamethrower, a military grade one that you strap on your back, and it's super scary. You can set it down and let it burn. I think I'm going to keep it under my bed for personal safety. Yeah, I think you should. I mean, can you imagine if an intruder broke in and you, you had that? I'm pretty sure my house would go up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you'd be fine. Plus, it looks cool, Dude, right? That was so awesome. Yeah. Stop, drop, and roll. I'm gonna pop. No, where's that? that? Let's get the fire extinguisher. Flat ground. Ready? So Babe, this is more fun than you think it is. It on, and then you're just gonna push this little button here, and it'll launch. And that launches. Okay. Hold on. All right. Whenever you're ready. Keep going. Mary, you wanna do it? Come on, Mary. Isn't that fun? You feel nice and warm. Go ahead. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Whoa, sorry. It goes crazy. Oh my god. Check out that Texas sky though. It's pretty. Lincoln does not like storms. It is not storming outside, it's just really windy. He does not like that. But in our house, out on, like there's nothing around us to block it. There's no it's, other houses it's loud. or anything else. And so it's really loud and it's sort of scary sounding if you were three. <laughs> <laughs> this dog still, I mean, he sleeps a lot anyway, but when he has a rough day like today, he's been sleeping a lot. Anyway, you guys help us uh, keep uh, keep those in your prayers, help us pray for those, and uh, hopefully, I think it'll be like five days that we'll get his histopath report back, and hopefully it's a big nothing. Just a little fat, just a little cyst, something, something boring. Maybe a benign tumor even would be okay. Not anything aggressive. We'll keep you updated though. Doe should make a um, speedy recovery healing wise. We'll just see what that, that thing was, that lump was. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here with us, even on days that aren't fun, like doing this. I mean, the day the day was fun, parts of it are fun, but it's always kind of stressful when you have something like this going on. And uh, thanks for being here for us. We love you. We'll see you next time. I'm not talking about killing people. You say I want to murder you. Oh! <laughs>